Google Keep has gotten a lot of attention over the past year, in part because of some of the announcements that Evernote has made in the past year. Now, Evernote first uh, ruffled some feathers by changing the number of devices that you could use the Evernote application if you were using their basic or free version of the application. And then very late in 2016, Evernote changed its privacy policy and I think there was more uh, panic around how they announced that and some of the wording around it that gave a lot of people, um, I guess, good reason to go looking for another Note application. You can go and find articles and find news about both of those changes on your own if you would like to learn more. But today, we're not going to be making so much of a comparison of Google Keep versus Evernote, but we are going to be looking about how we can manage our different notes in Google Keep. One of the most common questions I get is, Scott, I'm used to dealing with uh, notebooks. I'm used to dealing with folders in Evernote. Uh, if Google Keep does not have that functionality, how do I keep track? How do I manage all of my notes in Google Keep? I do want to make one disclaimer at the beginning of today's video, and that is I don't think it's fair to compare note applications head to head. And this is the reason why I think the way that we deal with our note applications, the way we use our note applications are quite personal and quite unique. I think it's quite a bit different than how we deal with our email, for example. I think you can do a pretty good head-to-head -head comparison with Google Gmail versus Microsoft Outlook, for example, because at the most basic level, we are dealing with email the same way. We're all sending messages, we're all receiving messages, and then managing those messages. But when it comes to our notes, some of us are taking very brief notes, like some of the examples that you see here and then others are using their note applications such as Evernote or perhaps Microsoft's OneNote to you know craft entire articles or maybe even writing short books um, you know doing massive uh, web clippings and 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 bookmarking blog articles for later so you know it really comes down to how you use your notes and how you want to use your notes going forward to see which note application is best for you. I will admit that my notes have a lifespan of roughly two weeks. I would say about 90% of all of my notes live for about two weeks and then they're gone. I want a note application that is quick, is easy. I can get in here and type a quick note and then get back to the rest of my day. I usually come back and review my notes either on a daily basis or at the very latest on a weekly basis. And then, you know, I'll convert these things to a to-do list. Some of them will show up or end up on my calendar or maybe they'll become an email. But, you know, I'm not storing a lot of reference material in my note application. So you might be a lot like me in that respect or you might be very different. And that's gonna depend on which note application is best for you. So managing and organizing our notes in Google Keep with the absence of true notebooks or folders, how can we do it? Well, the first obvious option that we have is to use labels. And Google Keep makes it very easy for us to create new labels, but also to add new labels. As you can see here, I have a few samples here on the left-hand side in the menu portion of the application. And I can just click on that and quickly filter and see all of my notes that are associated with that particular uh, label. Google Keep also gives you the ability to add multiple labels at the same time. So, for example, here you see that this one has the label family on it. I can go ahead and add additional labels, multiple labels, if desired. So now this has both the family label and the reference label attached to it. I also like that Google Keep gives you the ability to add a label using a hashtag. So if I'm starting a new note here, I can hit the hashtag and immediately it's going to pop up all the labels that I have here and I can quickly select it. I can either type it in myself if I like or I can just select the one that I want. 
And it's actually going to add the hash take in there if you use the symbol, but it's also going to add it there as well. So labels are probably going to be your first choice in organizing your notes, adding labels either to all of your notes or, or at least the notes that you don't want to see on the, on the home screen or the main screen when you come into uh, the Google Keep application at first. Now, the second method that you can consider using is to use the color coding option. And here you can see Google Keep gives us eight different shades, eight different ways that we can color code our notes. Uh, here you can see the, the different shades made available. So maybe this yellow means something to me. And this is maybe my, my personal things. Things that are, are personal are going to get yellow. I'm going to make professional blue. And I'm going to make uh, red or you know some other category. So if you are not needing to manage a very lengthy list of labels or, or folders, the colors might be another solution for you. And I know many of you are visual learners, so this can be helpful to filter out um, different uh, notes by color. Now, speaking of filtering, the nice thing with not only the labels, but also the color option is that you can filter it quite quickly. You've already seen me filter labels here on the left-hand side, but you'll notice there's no option here to select colors. All you need to do is click on the search bar at the top, and we get some additional ways in which we can filter our notes. We can filter them by different types. Here we see the labels again that we can select. There's also a things option, which I think is a, is a very interesting one, but, but can be a very helpful one. These are not user uh, generated or user driven. The, this is Google Keep scanning the contents of your notes and then putting them into various categories that they think are uh, relevant or related to. So that can be helpful uh, as well. But at the very bottom of this uh, search option, you can see we have our different colors. And of course, it's not going to give us colors that we haven't used before. So if I click on yellow, I'm going to quickly see all of my notes that I have colored yellow, regardless of the different labels that I have used for them. So those are going to be your two primary methods, your, probably your two easiest ways to categorize your notes in Google Keep, either using the labels option or using the color coded option. Now, I would love to hear from you and your experience with using Google Keep. How do you organize all of your notes within the application. Do you use one of the two methods that I mentioned today, or do you use something even different, something that other Simpletivity users could benefit from? I would encourage you to share your experience and share your method in the comments below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the Simpletivity YouTube channel, please do so. Uh, we have new videos each and every week, and we would love to have you a part of the Simpletivity community. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.